The Alex Big Show. Podcast. Pod, 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 podcast. Yeah. Fact. Just did some on the fly production now using my mouth. Sick. Welcome to it. It's Alex Baker's podcast, Mark 2. The Alex Baker Show podcast, episode 2. I'm f***ing out the podcast strikes back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Download the podcast! Yes. Welcome to it. This is it. Uh, thank you for all the people to all the people that have subscribed. Why can't I talk? This is what happens, you see. We make the podcast after we've just finished the show. Download the podcast! And it's so early in the morning now. My mouth's not working properly. You know, my face isn't working properly. Subscribe to the podcast! Eyes aren't working. I can't see. <laughs> Can you can't not? see anything. Just as well, because you're sitting opposite me and I'm looking a bit chunky. So, hello. Uh, thanks for subscribing to the podcast. You got us into like the top 100. We were like 51. In the podcast chart, which is higher than like Russell Brand. Loop me, bow me, let's have a little bit of fun. I only really noticed him because it was like a little victory. I'm going to steal your woman next, Russell. You'll see. I, know a place. I won't. Mel will kill me. She won't even let me get close to Katie Pezza. She'd be like, Oi, Pezza, step away from my man, bitch. That's what would happen. <laughs> Not that Mel's anything like that. Anyway, so um, what's cracking? We asked you guys in this special behind-the-scenes podcast uh, feature that we're doing right now, last week, if you had any questions for us, uh, you can pose your questions at Alex Bakerman or at Kevin Hingley, or I suppose you could do at Hayley Uden. Should we bother with that? No. Yeah, f- maybe, but she won't read it. Because all she'll get is she'll get blokes going, oh, let's go on a date, Hayley, I love you. We want people to be serious about this. Yeah. This is a very serious show. <laughs> Hi, Brester. It is. So, yeah, at Alex Bakerman or at Kevin Hingley. Mostly at Alex <laughs> Bakerman, though. Get on there. Post some questions. So, has anyone posed any questions this week? Yep. Uh, Cara Claire has asked, when does Suck, last night's... girl. <laughs> Sorry. She asked, when does last night's show come out on podcast? Well, this is last night's show. Yes. So, well, uh, this isn't. This is the extra special behind the scenes. Yeah, but what you're about to hear. Yeah. Yeah, and incidentally, someone put on the reviews on the iTunes store... Um, Love the podcast, but don't understand why it's just bits of last night or a lot of the show. And he's like, well, I, I don't know. Isn't that what a podcast is? Isn't I guess that, so. Yeah. yeah. It's just... We're not going to make a whole other radio show. Yeah. That's like double effort. Yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hello. But this is extra, you know. This is extra Yeah, this bits. takes long enough. This is exclusive, <laughs> in a way. Uh, Panda Pinda. Pretty sure that's Alex the Panda. Hold Big on. up your bad self. Did we ask, answer that last girl's question? Yeah, because she's listening to it now, surely. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So, Alex the Panda, what's he saying? I love that dude. He said, What's up, Panda? I think you could shorten the podcast a teeny bit, as I hope you appreciate my internet is shit without cutting good stuff. Well, Alex, if, if we were to cut good stuff... Again, lots more work. <laughs> no, if we were to cut... If we would, sorry, if we were to not cut good stuff, but cut stuff, what? then it wouldn't be any shorter. Uh, well, let's not get carried away. <laughs> let's not get carried away, Kevin. We don't want to blow our own trumpets too hard. No, I think the real reason is it's more effort, isn't it? Yeah, it's just, yeah, because what I have to do is I have to go back and, like, chop it all up. And if I have to then be really, ed- like, really selectful, selectful? Selective. Selective. <laughs> What's the matter with me? I hate my life. Uh, then it'll take even longer to achieve. And um, also... But what- I get what you're saying, though. Yeah, and also what we deem as good or listenable... Might not be the same opinion as the listener. Exactly. Look at this bit, for example. <laughs> no one wants to hear this. They're just like, "What's? I want to hear the stuff that made the show, not this crap." Um, got another one. Yeah. Gabe's slut asks, "What is the burn the fleet song you play a clip of in your first podcast?" Oh, this one. So am I dreaming? Feels like home. Called River Song by uh-huh. Burn the Fleet. Yeah. There's also a dubstep remix that sounds like this. So Also very good, but I actually prefer the original. But although I'm not one of those people that hates dubstep, I quite like it. Anyway, so we've been chatting for ages, and I remember I was listening to last week's podcast, and I thought, wow, this first bit's gone on for ages, and I'm getting bored. I want to get into the actual main body of the podcast, so should we do that? Yeah. Down with guess that? so. Oh, just a quick note as well. Um, obviously, we love you for subscribing. Thank you very much. Oh, thanks, Kev. That's really nice of you. Yeah, it's fine. No, no dramas. But um, we'd also like it if all your friends subscribed as well. Yes. Let's talk more about this at the end, though. Oh, yeah, cause we because we need something to talk about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because we, yeah, we've got like a little mission for you guys that have subscribed this week. It's a, Well, yeah, it's not the most inventive of missions. It's really just telling people about the podcast. 
But we'll figure out a way to explain that to you that's amusing. Next, here on the podcast. Well, not next, because... Oh, dear. Stand by for audio. Got it. And now... The Alex Baker Show brings you one of the most exciting events that's ever been our privilege to bring. Here we go again. And this is just the beginning. The Alex Baker Show Podcast. Right, guys, we're not on air yet. But before we go on air... I just want to introduce you to this chap over here. He's called Ivan. Now, Ivan actually won the auction uh, for Cash for Kids. Oh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, he's come yeah. in to do co-hosting with us for the day. So I just wanted to introduce before we go on air, because I don't want to don't, don't, be like a lack of chemistry like and a, stuff. Oh, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Who's this guy? Exactly, exactly <laughs> yeah. So, so Ivan, um, I just want to introduce yourself to the guys and just tell them a little bit before we go on air. Just tell them a little bit about yourself and stuff. So, obviously, you have to... It's radio, so you're going to have to say something to, to get the... Get the guys listening. Um, uh, so colour. obviously we're Kevin Haney. And that's so, Alex. You've you Alex, yeah. obviously. So. You're have to say something, mate. Um, you've driven quite a long way to be here today, so it's a little bit ridiculous if you don't say anything. We're going to go on air very, very soon. G it up. Let's get this going. For f- sake, Ivan! Speak! Speak, Ivan! Speak! Sorry. Morning. Morning. Hey y'all, it's revolution up in this bitch. The Alex Baker Show Podcast. <laughs> the Alex Baker Show Podcast. Yes. Good evening. Welcome to it. It's the Alex Baker Show here on Kerrang Radio every single Sunday night from 10 till 12. Me, you, Tommy, Kevin, Haley sit around and chat about various different things. However, tonight, young fella, my lad, young fella, my lady, I've stumbled all over my words there. Tonight is a slightly different show because, yes, we've got in the studio Haley. Hello! Yes, we've got in the studio Kevin. What's up? Yes, we've got in the studio Tommy. Hello. Ivan, <laughs> how are you, my good sir? I'm pretty damn fine. Feeling damn good? Fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's an absolute pleasure to have you in the building. And apologies, there's a, a lot of few complaints flooding in. Apparently, we were actually on air before when I was shouting at you violently. Apologies yeah, for that. I, that. That's okay. I it was a bad time. I put you on the spot. I appreciate it. <laughs> don't deal well with pressure okay cool who but, does yeah. but i'm a nice guy <laughs> yeah you're a nice guy you are a nice guy we've hang, yeah. been hanging out a bit before the show and we've yeah. we had some fish and chips and well let's, let's face it, i didn't have fish it was a kebab yeah. all right mel i had a kebab yeah. you know <laughs> sue me mel that's my in case you just tuned in for the first time you've got no idea what i'm talking about mel is my fiance she's lovely and she's trying to aid me in my weight loss and she won't be pleased to know that i had a kebab apologies because she doesn't want you to die first. Yeah, yeah, it's a selfish thing. Yeah, she doesn't want to have to deal with the torment of losing her loved one. You know, mm-hmm. she doesn't care if it was the other way around. She just pop her clogs, shake off this mortal coil, leave me all alone. She doesn't care about that, Kevin. Whoa, whoa, back up, back up. But she'll inherit. No. <laughs> yeah, well, oh. the grand fortunes of Baker, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> totaling what, like a few matchsticks and my <laughs> my amazing collection of free DVD pawns that I've amassed. Across the years, not really, mother. I'm only joking. But you're here. You won the Cash for Kids auction, which we're really excited about. So you're here to co-host the, co-host the whole show with us tonight. You've driven all the way from Milton Keynes to be here in the dead of night. Damn and for right. that, my friend, I salute you. Now, for people that don't know who Ivan Lewis Coker is, we've got some very, very interesting audio that we're going to spring on you very soon in the show, Ivan. Because it's not the first time you've been on radio, is it, good sir? Oh, what, what are you talking about? You've been on the radio before, my good man. <laughs> On a, on a young man called Nick Abbott's speech show in the 90s. Wait a second, wait a second. Wait, 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 how did you get that? On Virgin Radio. Uh. No, no. How, what, what do you, wait, how did you get this? Me and Kev tracked it down. No, 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 no. no. Using our vast no. array of radio contacts. We're professionals. I made sure all the copies were deleted. What? <laughs> how did you acquire this? There's one copy still available, and it's here on my computer. Hi, hey, Nick. Hello. Uh, I am in love with Zuri. Oh! oh. That's you talking about being in love with a girl called Ziri. What this clip I'm going to play you a little bit later on the show illustrates is Ivan's uh, chat-up technique about 10 years ago, 15 years ago now. 
quite a long time ago. I'm saying nothing until my lawyer gets here. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely brilliant. I'm going to play that for you later. Also, uh, to just give you a bit more information about Ivan, Ivan's the only man I've ever met. Hayley, you'll love this. He's the only man I've ever met who's actually said the words, yeah, I jumped out of a plane once and got bored. <laughs> <laughs> That's verbatim, right? So semantically, it's really important. It wasn't, I got bored once, so I jumped out of a plane. It was, I jumped out of a plane once and then got bored. Oh, my (laughs) word. (laughs) Mid-skydive. I've just got this image of you just jumping out going, (laughs) (laughs) This is boring. Mum, (laughs) set the kettle on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) You're hurtling uh, to the ground. Hello. <laughs> I'm really bored. <laughs> to be fair, though, when does neighbours start? I can imagine it being quite boring. Like the first like jump, you're like, "Whoa, I'm out of a plane! I'm flying!" Oh, oh, and I'm I, still flying. And then it's like the "Whoa, I'm getting close to ground now." Then well, is that when the excitement kicks back in when you're about to crash land? <laughs> oh, yeah. Ivan, you were the person that did it. What happened? Yeah, but all it was was you jumped out of the plane. You got the free fall. You got the wind rushing up against your, your ears, and you just can't. It's like you can't hear anything. You can't say anything. And just then, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, precisely. And Getting carried you know, away and with my sound effects. Cool, and you get kind of, yeah, get all the adrenaline flowing. And then they open the chute and it's like, boom. <laughs> all right. And then you just float down in a circle, gradually. Maybe You're just there reading a the paper. Glass of red wine. It's like, In fact, the, actually, the most exciting thing about it, which I don't actually, no, I don't actually think it was exciting, it was painful, was that my, um, <laughs> okay. it was a tandem jump. And I had to sat on the tandem jumpy's lap. Yeah. And uh, he pulled a strap between our legs to secure me to him. And uh, he pulled it a bit tight. Ooh. And, uh, you know John Thomas there. Yeah, that's exactly right. Things were kind of constrained. And um, <laughs> when we jumped out of the plane, I found that the way to alleviate the pain was actually to hold my knees. You know, with the, hold the, the straps above my knees and just hold them and go down in the seating posi- seated position. I've just got sedentary this, position. I've yeah. got this amazing image of you <laughs> flying through the sky with this man strapped to your back, holding your knees, reading a paper, yeah. <laughs> bored. <laughs> That's exactly how it was. Brilliant. Just going round, round, round. Yeah. I, I absolutely love it. Right, we've got loads of Ivan on the show tonight. Like I say, have got this audio to play for you later on as well, which you'll absolutely love. It's amazing. Lawyer. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the lawyer's on the way. Uh, we're going to be talking about Piers Morgan, uh, The Barking Cat. Uh, we've got some F My Life, some awesome things. The greatest film of all time. 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 Quite. And we're going to be talking about my gym persona. Any idea what I could be talking about, guys? Yes. Is this the guy that that goes in there and says, oh, yeah, I've just been doing a bit of bag work? It is that guy. Oh. I have a gym persona. When I go to the gym, there is an Alex that comes out that isn't me, and I'm going to be telling you about that in detail because it's all gone wrong. It's all gone really, really wrong at the gym. I've I've uh, I've uh, created a tissue, a web of lies, <laughs> and they're all going to come back and bite me on the arse. I just know it. So I thought the only the best thing to do would be to come on air and just say it all, just expose myself. <laughs> so then hopefully at the gym, you know, the people that have heard it will just now realise that I'm lying scumbag, <laughs> and they'll leave me alone. But more more on that in a bit. The Alex Baker Show podcast. Right, so here's an interesting discussion point to kick things off, to kick off proceedings this evening. I'm going to hit you with a sentence and we're going to have a chat about it, guys. You ready for this? Yep. Yes. First of all, let me just ask, does everyone know who Piers Morgan is? Yes. Yep. Piers Morgan. Mm-hmm. Right, Piers Morgan used to be a journalist, I think, years ago. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. uh, now he's uh, a judge on Britain's Got Talent, America's Got Talent, and he does the American version of... Well, he took over from Letterman. No, he took over from... Uh... Oh, what's his name? Letterman. No, 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 no. The old guy. The really old guy. David Letterman. No. <laughs> Someone, Leno. Close. No, not Leno. Not Letterman. Uh, oh, I know, I know. Uh, Andy Samberg. <laughs> no, it's really irritating. Parkinson. Tonight with... Um... Jay Leno. Oh, come back to me. Michael Hutchins. Come back to me. <laughs> right, so everyone knows who Piers Morgan is. Larry King. Larry King Larry Live. King Live. He took over from Larry King Live. So Piers Morgan Live is the show. That's uh, really quite dull. But anyway, so here's my little uh, expression. Let's have a little chat about it. Piers Morgan sucks. Discuss. Agree. Agree. I'm done with that. Yeah? Why do you think I hate Piers Morgan? Because you hate everyone. Yeah, apart from that. <laughs> because you like to be difficult. 
Apart from that. Because he's more successful than you, but nowhere near as good a broadcaster as you. Apart from that. Because he's less ugly than you. Apart from that. What do you mean less <laughs> ugly? <laughs> Don't you, oh, I have to say, incidentally, as well, when Ivan met me today, he went, who are you? And I went, I'm Alex. And he went, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've never felt more deflated in my life. I was like, oh, this guy's a listener. He's going to come on the show. Yeah, he's going to be really pleased to see me. Oh. Oh, but you don't look anything like your picture on the website. I was like, yeah, but that's because I've got good hair in that picture. And he went, yeah, you're telling me. <laughs> I was like, oh, right. But the reason I don't like Piers Morgan is because he's got to be, without a shadow of the doubt, the most f***ing smug p- I've ever seen in my entire life. Do you know what I mean? When he's, I've been watching that America's Got Talent and he does this face and I realise now as I'm doing this link that this doesn't translate well on radio. It's very visual. So you're going to have to work with me here, people. This is what he does. He goes like this. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I Did you really just do that? Yeah. <laughs> doesn't really work on the radio. Uh, no, he does this. Oh, book of ventriloquists. <laughs> yeah, these guys. Oh, man, don't even get me started. Uh, these guys, um, like, everyone at home, just visualise what I'm doing. I'm lifting my chin up. So try it. Try it. You're at home now. Get in front of a mirror or just do it in your room. Sort of lift your chin up ever so slightly and kind of don't move your nose, but make your nose seem self-important. <laughs> <laughs> and while you're doing that, kind of like slightly squint your eyes as if to say, mm, I'm not sure I like what I'm looking at. Do that. So you're, you're sort of kind of like, yeah, Kev's getting it. Mm. Kind, of, kind of squint those eyes and kind of go, and then sort of sharply intake your breath through your nose. Kind of go, and, and sort of while you do that, simultaneously look down at your nose and, go, and look up at the person. Oh, I forgot to breathe. And go, <laughs> hey, don't just keep inhaling. <laughs> 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 and kind of just like go like this uh, yes uh, uh, yeah. yeah quite like that <laughs> Piers Morgan looks like that all the time wow he looks so smug and I was watching Britain's America's Got Talent the other day and he said to this girl he said oh, ha, ha. oh well I didn't really think that was a very good performance and then he did his face well, I just explained to you and I, I just wanted to punch him in the face do you know what I mean and I'm not a violent person I'm really really not and I'm I've got such a long fuse I never get angry there's something about that guy's face it just makes me want to kill myself yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean yeah. don't you think the audience on America's Got Talent are way more vicious as well oh my god they're brutal and do you know what? another thing Piers Morgan right there was this guy I can't remember what he was doing wasn't interested there was this guy wearing like little spandex shorts or whatever and uh, and it, you could see his like willy Right, and he had quite a small willy. Right, he just did. He just did. And then, and Piers Morgan goes to him with that face. So he did the face again. Well, I think that's the uh, smallest talent we've ever seen on this show. <laughs> In front of this baying crowd, the crowd going, whoa, whoa, ah, "I hate you! I hate you!" Ah. And he's like, oh, "Look, basically saying, look at your tiny." <laughs> Let's all laugh at him with his small penis. I hate that guy! Oh I'm punch him in the f- face! <laughs> anyway, so Piers, if you're listening, big fan. <laughs> like your work. Um, am I, do, are you on board? Ivan, you yeah. look like a guy that might hate Piers Morgan. <laughs> I don't Actually, know why. <laughs> basing that on anything. I've never, you never watched him. Have you not? No. Well, you're missing out. No, because America's got talent is beneath me. All these talent shows are beneath me. <laughs> I like it. I, I like am it. just... I am just far superior than yeah. these talent shows. Just, Hell yeah, you are. You know what I'm saying? High five. You, know you should be judging right. Piers Morgan. You're damn right. Kev. Yeah, you you're should just go right. on. You should just go on America's Got Talent, even though you're British, right? <laughs> and just go on there and just walk on the stage and say, right, Piers, you f- <laughs> <laughs> So I know I'm swearing a lot. I just hate this man. Just, and just, just say, you come up here and I'm going to judge you. And then just watch him do his little smug face. He does that sometimes. He tries to get involved with the acts. Yeah. But I'm yeah. sitting down with the kids. Look at me before face and then oh I hate him oh I hate him I'm sure he's a lovely man and I, I'm pleased that his career is going well but you just want to get up there and slap him yeah I just want to take his face off <laughs> just want to peel his face off and put yeah. some, put Hayley's face on yeah. be better look at that all day 
That'd be much better. <laughs> Look at that little face. Uh-huh. I got in trouble last week, actually, by the way. Why? Because uh, Mel was listening to the show when I told when I told the nation that I fancied you because you looked like Cameron Diaz. <laughs> and I got in trouble for a short period of time, but then she found it hilarious because I said that you looked like an old Cameron Diaz. <laughs> so it all worked out quite well in the end. Which you only really put that in because you knew that would happen. <laughs> secrets! <laughs> show secrets! <laughs> and Damn also, you! And also, Heather kicked you in the testicles when the show was over. Yeah, she did. She did. I've still got the bruising from that. <laughs> Damn you, woman. So there we go. Everyone agrees in the whole world that Piers Morgan sucks. I'm glad we discussed that. I feel better about myself. Uh, right, now, as I promised, there is a chap in the studio called Ivan Lewis Coker. Now, mm. Ivan, uh, you have been on radio before. This is not the first time you've been on the radio. I found some footage, well, not footage, audio of you on a chap called Nick Abbott's show. This is your speech show. It had phone-ins, features, all the rest of it. And on this particular show, it appears that you have fallen in love with one of Nick Abbott's regular callers. So I take it that you were a regular caller, and she was a regular caller. What was her name? I'm saying nothing without my lawyer. Uh, okay. Before. So there's some amazing, amazing audio here. And let's be fair, you are kind of winding them up. You're playing along with this, right? Yeah, I think so. What am I talking about? No, 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 no. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I want my lawyer, now! Right, so this is, uh, this is what happened. So you're talking to this guy, so I'll explain as we go along. Hi, hey, Nick. Hello. I am in love with Zuri. So Zuri is the name of the girl that you're in love with. Hey, Nick. Hello. I am in love with Zuri. You're in love with Zuri? Absolutely. I mean, I, I heard her voice, like, you know, the first uh, few times, and I thought, yeah, that, that's cute and everything, and then uh, I was just uh, blown away completely. It was, uh, oh, no. Nick, what have you done? So what's happened there is Nick's got you on the air to talk about how the fact that you love this girl called, uh, called Zuri and then he, he hasn't told you, but he's actually got her waiting on the other line. And then she breathes and you can hear her and then you realise. I think you can speak to her directly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's got the weirdest it's laugh. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Oh, don't, 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 don't. <laughs> don't do it, you might get turned on if you Ooh, laugh. Oh like. god. Yeah, yeah don't, don't. No, I just, this is not good. <laughs> I'm like, how did you get hold of this? I mean, is this real? I mean, is this, like, not taped? No, it's not. Zuri, say hello to the, uh, the man who, uh, he fancies, he fa- fancies hello, the man from Manchester. Pants off you. Hey, I'm speechless. Uh, I'm, uh, completely, uh, my heart is overwhelmed. Hey, Nick, I love that. I love that my heart is a flutter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Moist at the thought. Damn right. My name's, uh, Ivan. Hello, Ivan. And um, look, um, uh, <laughs> come on, Ivan, spit it out. Yeah, this is come your, on out with it. This is right. the only chance you'll get. You've got to make it a good one. Right, okay. Basically, what happened is um, I was sitting down and uh, you I heard what? your voice. Steady on, Nick. Don't uh, <laughs> insert the flow here. And <laughs> <laughs> Just own the host. <laughs> Steady on, Nick. Uh, don't, don't interrupt the flow here. <laughs> Steady on, Nick. Don't uh, <laughs> insert the flow here. And uh, I heard your voice and uh, it, things began to uh, look up. And uh, also go up, actually. And, uh, oh! This is it, and I've uh, been hooked ever since. <laughs> uh, this is amazing. I'm uh, actually. Can I have a? Can we exchange addresses? Is this straight in there? What? I love that. Can we exchange addresses? <laughs> can I have a? Can we exchange addresses? Because, like Nick said, you look like uh, Stevie Nicks. I love how you can almost tell this is from the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just tell the world where I live. Oh, it's like something else like some mothers do have them. Do you know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> and, uh, I mean, I, I thought it was, uh, you know, you know you'd know, be quite uh, quite nice and everything. Then you said you look like Stevie Nicks that Friday. And, uh, yeah, that she it. does. She came in a vision in, in a faded denim. With blonde the locks do this, Nick. falling don't, about Nick, his shoulders. Please, please, Nick, there are women in the house, and uh, I really don't need... I've got tight jeans on as well. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love this, this is you, like, in the 90s, chatting up this girl on... on, oh on my it's, on Virgin, it's on Virgin Radio, was it? That's right, yeah. Yeah, on, on AM. On AM, That's right, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And it goes on, man. It gets, and it gets, <laughs> it gets worse. <laughs> How? So, Zuri, Zuri, Zuri. Would you be interested in uh, maybe uh, meeting this uh, chat? Please, please, please. <laughs> <laughs> you must say, wait, wait, you must say I, I have a car, okay? Oh, okay? he's got a car. Like, that's a great selling <laughs> point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. What it means is it means I can drive uh, Oh, anywhere. you weren't trying to impress her by the fact that you got wheels. <laughs> right. No. I love that. I've got a car. <laughs> Oh, no, no, Do no, you no. own your that own flat? Hey, look, it's a B registration family yeah. five door thing, man. It's not exactly a hot hatch. <laughs> I love this. This is so good. 
And then it t- and then, and then Ivan starts thinking, how can I really get this girl's attention? <laughs> Ivan, tell Zuri what you look like. Okay, I'm about uh, six, uh, six, six foot three, uh-huh. and uh, I have uh, fairly large feet, about um, you know size fourteen. Fairly large right. feet. I'm really okay. interested in the feet, size. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. okay, you want the dimensions? You want the okay, about uh, twelve inches wide <laughs> and uh, lampostula. Let's say lampostula. I think this guy sounds like a freak, sorry. No, no, no. Okay, no, about uh, twelve foot. Uh, I wear a glass. Twelve foot now. <laughs> no, no, I wear glasses and uh, I am, uh, I'm a great, uh, funny kind of uh, guy. Ha 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 ha, funny. And, uh, uh, well, you've entertained me then. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> and, I, and I have large hands too. And you know what they say about large well, hands? This guy, I mean, talk, don't just, uh, next, next. don't beat around the bush, so to speak. Stop well, uh, beating yeah, it, sir, please, and just tell us what you think. Uh, Nick, well, it's a 12 Nick, foot, I'm shocked by yeah, And also, exactly, Nick, yeah. if, if you don't mind, if I, unless I'm going to cause a storm, I'm also a, like a black guy as well. And you know what they say about black guys with the big hands and big feet? Is this well, is that the only show? point, then, how big your willy is? Well, uh, I, haven't, no, I, haven't, no, I, haven't, I think, I think, I think, I think that you just made a big <laughs> mistake. <laughs> Oh dear, I think uh, Ivan just made a massive boo-boo. Never mind, Ivan. Better luck next time. Oh my God! How does it feel to hear that live on another radio station? I can't believe you tracked that down. You're going to be hearing from a lawyer, dude. So how old are you there? Like 20 or something? Uh, yeah, I think so. I can't... Wait a minute. I, this didn't happen. No, no, I wasn't. That was you, dude. I don't <laughs> sound anything like that. Yeah, I this is my voice. You do. No. Oh, Never mind. God, so I had to play that for our lovely listeners who wanted to find out more about Ivan and his chat. <laughs> this like, is not good. I'd like to say, no offense, but she sounds mental. <laughs> like, she actually sounds like someone I'd want to punch in the face, like Piers Morgan. Oh, no! She, no. And at first, there was a point at the start that I thought. This is, is the this love a, of his life you're talking this about. This is when I was going to reveal that he yeah, later went on to marry her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> at first, on the phone i thought is this a man pretending to be a woman and then she spoke a bit more and i thought no that's definitely a woman but i was like oh my god it's that laugh oh. <laughs> you, see, you see the thing is right now the thing is i've listened to your show for quite a while alex and you hate me now don't you no 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 the hate you know, the, the hate has been transferred to another body <laughs> in this room because i always thought Haley was really cute and you always, you always used to rag on her and i always felt sorry for her and all this kind of thing both of you did and i always felt sorry for her and now now, after she insulted my woman, <laughs> I'm just not so sure. No, she's a nasty like piece of work. That's exactly right. No, yeah. you're, right. you're a scumbag. Really you're, 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 you're a scumbag, Haley. It's a facade. Yeah, you're just like Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. yeah, so you better watch oh, yeah, out or I'll reach for my fire arm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, damn right. <laughs> wow. Brilliant. Oh, man. Right, okay, so there we go. We're getting to know Ivan tonight. Loads of stuff coming up on the show. We're going to be talking about my gym persona. The Alex Baker Show podcast. Alex Baker Show. Yeah, so I mentioned something at the start of the show. Welcome to the show, by the way. It's the Alex Baker Show here on Kerrang Radio. It happens every single Sunday night from 10 till 12. Me, you, Tommy, Kevin, Haley, sitting around chatting about various different things. Ivan has lost something. What have you lost, dude? Uh, my jacket. Apart from your dignity. Well, yeah, I lost <laughs> that a long time ago, but you know, never mind. Your but jacket. Haley's lost more than me, I think. Have I? She's lost yeah. respect. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she has. She has yeah, definitely Hayley. lost my respect. Just like Rihanna over there in the corner <laughs> with your Thomas. Rihanna hair. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, as mentioned at the start of the show, my gym persona. This is the situation. I did a bad, bad thing. Well, I've been going to the gym off and on for years, and recently I've been going a lot more in an attempt to look slightly less like a male whale version of the Little Mermaid when she's on land. <laughs> Because that's kind of the look I've been I've been rocking for the past sort of five years. It's been going well at the gym, uh, but then something amazing happened. Something I actually encourage everyone to do if you're a gym goer. I started getting loads of nods from like the big muscly dudes and the guy. You know, there's all these guys on the gym always like, and then they started nodding at me, going, "All right, mate, how's it going? Oh, how's how's things? How's training and all that?" And I was like, uh, "Yeah, all right, yeah." But I couldn't understand why it started happening. And then I realised. It started happening because I was—I've I started boxing at the gym. 
so when I'm walking around the gym I've got my boxing gloves with me so these guys I must find, think that's a, like a respect thing and they're like alright mate this guy boxes he must, yeah, be, he yeah. must be alright one of the lads <laughs> do you know what I mean even though I'm like totally not in any way so like having boxing gloves it seems gives one mad respect which I implore you especially you Kev you'd need boxing gloves to get to survive <laughs> in the gym uh, <laughs> can you imagine me going to a gym no so here comes the, here comes the bad thing someone then started talking to me about boxing and rather than making it easy for myself and going, yeah, you know, I, I don't really know anything about boxing. Rather than doing that, I decided to do the opposite and do that whole sort of compulsive lie thing. Oh, you know no. those kind of compulsive lies oh. you do when someone says something to you and you go, yeah, yeah. That like, often happens with movies. Someone goes, have you seen that movie? And you go, yeah. And you know you haven't. And then you go, what do you think? What was your favourite bit? And you're like, oh, crap. <laughs> you've just lied. You know what I'm talking about? It yeah. escalates you and you've got to make up more and more to compound the lie. Exactly. Those sort of compulsive lies that just you just wish that you hadn't made. It's a house of cards, man. It's yeah. Because if you hadn't made them in the first place, your life would be so much easier. And you've made your life so much harder <laughs> for telling that one lie in the first place. And that's exactly what happened. So uh, immediately I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, the boxing's great. Yeah, it's brilliant. And, uh, <laughs> and then I started making up loads of stuff about about boxing and then they asked the immortal question what gym I trained in and I was like um so I made one up <laughs> oh, God. I made up a gym I, oh a gym in and I was like oh, no. I caveated it oh, by saying no. oh it's in London yeah it's in East London so you probably don't know it it's called I can't even remember what I called it the, the, the House of Arms or something like that. <laughs> you know I, mean? I gave it some stupid name. And then I said that I'd, I'd been out of the game. This is verbatim. I'd been out of the game for years oh since I damaged God. my wrist in a bout. Oh my <laughs> word! Oh my God. So I'm talking to this girl. <laughs> Oh, it was a girl, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, that's, oh that's what, yeah, okay. But the oh, night, oh, so now why. you're allowed to lie if you're talking yeah. to a girl. No, no, it's just understandable because yeah, yeah. you know it was rather than saying I'm just a fat guy that doesn't know anything about boxing. <laughs> I, I guess my masculinity took over, right? That's probably what happened. So yeah, I used the word bout. That's what's important oh, to realise. Yeah. So by this point, I totally committed to the lies, and there was nothing. There was no going back. There was nothing I could do. And then it got worse. And the awful, awful, awful thing happened, right? This girl said to me, I'd love it if you could show me the rope sometime. Uh oh. Yeah! I was like, No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> OMG, f my life, holy crap, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? So, how did I get out of it? How did I get out of this web of monumental lies? I told the most monumental <laughs> lie <laughs> of all time. Can <laughs> we guess? Go on. Have a guess, yeah. You're moving to Canada to hunt moose. No, but that would be awesome. <laughs> where, did that, where did you even get that from? Because <laughs> it would be, I don't know. That's amazing. I wish I told oh, that lie. No. no, it wasn't that. How about you, uh, you're not allowed to box anymore because of what happened to the last guy? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? It's kind of like that, but worse. Oh my god! Did, do you use the word bout again? I didn't use the word bout again. I'd learned my lesson from the first time. I got away with using bout once. I decided not to use bout again. No, no, no. What I said is I told them that I wasn't allowed to train anymore because I was now back in training for the new season and my trainer doesn't want anything or anyone distracting me from my ultimate goal. You know, oh. the title. <laughs> The thing is, it was so off the cuff. So I was like, uh, you know, he said he doesn't want me. I, I can't be distracted by anyone or anything. Nothing can distract me from my goal. And she was kind of like, goal? What do you mean? I was like, you know, the title. <laughs> so, so, so off the cuff. And she was like, oh, the title. All oh, right. So, so the thing is, now every time I go to the gym, there's going to be this lady wandering around thinking I'm a professional boxer. And the, the worst thing about that, the worst thing about that, is that it's a complete lie. Is it's the fat part of the fact it's a complete lie <laughs> is the fact that I've now got to look like I'm a professional boxer when I'm boxing at the gym. Oh my it's god. Not yeah. good enough to, it's not good enough for yeah. me to just go like yeah. oh god, I'm all tired and sort of sit on the floor and cry <laughs> like I usually would because I'm exhausting boxing. You've got I've, to do like the one hand thing yeah. like blah, 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 I've got to look like I'm really good at boxing. I've got, I've got, so now I've got to learn how to box. Oh, no. So I'm going to have to join an actual boxing gym just to get good so that I stay face. And she, like, she clearly didn't listen to the I'll show. I'll teach you. Oh, oh, she oh. was a BR&B listener. There is an alternative. Yes. You could very closely examine the Rocky movies. 
Yes. You've, you've got yes. you've got what five movies to watch? <laughs> six if you include the six. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> six exactly. You know, you can sort of use technique and everything that he does and what he says and how he says it. You can be like. Just yeah. rip off Rocky. So the next you know time she comes up to me, I'm, I'm like, right. what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm turn into some sort of New yeah. York boxer. Yeah. Yeah. Is he from New York? I don't even know. Yeah. And then what you've got to do also is it's like bite your tongue. Yeah, so, just the, so it gets in flame, so, it gets so that it's all the exactly, and then yeah. you can't actually speak properly. <laughs> oh my god, that's gonna be. Oh yeah. I mean, I hold on, hold on. Say, my uh, my my girlfriend's ringing. Hello, uh, Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the jam. I did it for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the web of lies. I really hope that she is listening and that my web of lies has just been unfolded because I cannot hack it. Oh yeah. I cannot hack this. <laughs> what situation. I really want to happen now is next time you're at the gym, she comes up and says, "Oh, I spoke to my my." Cousin is a boxing promoter. He says he can get you a title shot. And you find yourself actually in a ring oh, fighting an actual man. Like an actual boxer. An actual man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Rather than just a punch bag. Cut punch back. I just choked <laughs> on fear. <laughs> Excuse me for interrupting, boys and girls, but. Maybe you would like to find out just what it would be like if there were no rules. But how could we do that? By going someplace where there are no rules. Now where could that be? The Alex Baker Show. Paranormal Radio. Let's all think real hard and pretend we're in a faraway place. Where anything goes and nothing is off limits. Now come on. Let's go to the world of the coolest broadcast transmission this world has ever known. Everyone knows his name. He's as crazy as a coot. People all over the world are losing their damn minds. And there's nothing you can do about it. Are you ready to rock? He knows he must be stopped before he fulfills his terrifying mission. I don't think there are any words to describe. How very inappropriate. His radio shows really are. He's never going to admit it. My advice to you, start drinking heavily. Remember, don't try this at home. He is seriously twisted. He's the man with the record. Anything goes and nothing is off limits. If you can't handle the turn champ. Listen to this man. He bit Dakota Fanning on the face. He just wants to play. The person I'm about to introduce needs no introduction. Yeah. So please give a warm hormonal shriek for the sizzling hot. Oh, days. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for joining us and enjoying the chaos. Sunday night from 10 till 12 here on Kerrang Radio. The Alex Baker Show is pretty much the only speech show on Kerrang Radio. And I know you guys love the music and always want to hear big tunes, so I really mean it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for tuning in and giving this uh, kind of crazy, off-the-wall entertainment show a go. Really, really appreciate it. So there's something that's been going on on the show for a long, long, long time. Collectively... You, me, Tommy Kevin Haley, and now Ivan as well in his house, have been trying to decide on what the greatest film of all time. 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 Kev's got his head in the bin. <laughs> Is. <laughs> That's what we've been trying to decide on. Why did you go in the bin? I just wanted to make it sound even further away. <laughs> Did it sound good? Did it sound good? It sounded amazing. Thanks. <laughs> Best echo effect ever. <laughs> so uh, it's been a long process because deciding on the greatest film of all time. 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 Too much chair sound. Sorry. Poor show, Kevin. We've been through this before. Oh, oh yeah. The, I, I usually stand up for this. Yes, I love do. that you just called him Kevlin. Kevlin. It's like a mix between Devlin, the rapper, and, uh, you know, Kevin. oh no. Oh, Random. Where the random rap button. Big epic fail. Epic fail. Oh, I mentioned rap. Right, for people who have just tuned into the show, never heard the show before, I love rap music. But uh, whenever I talk about rap music on the show, because in fact we're on Kerrang, we don't really play a lot of rap music. Whenever I talk about it, for some reason, the random rap battle commences, which is where me... Kevin and Hayley and Tommy when he's here, which is never, incidentally, Tommy, if you're listening, um, have to rap about a theme. Now, Ivan's in the studio with me, uh, with us today. Ivan, we're not going to put you on the spot and do this random rap battle. That would not be fair. Even if you're a professional rapper, the pressure is too much. 
So you can come up with a theme that we have to rap about. I can't believe I mentioned rap. Why and did I can, never learn? And you can be the judge as well. Yeah, what? you can judge. You, you can and judge. That's not wins. pressure. Yeah. I've got to choose a theme, and I've got to judge to see who's best. And it, that's not. Pressure. In fact, it's all on you. You've got to do the freestyle rap as well. <laughs> not really. Not really. Game over, man. I didn't sign up for this. Bye. <laughs> Give us a theme, dude. How about for the fun of it? Because it's a crank. Boy bands. Boy see, bands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, the reason oh I choose word. is because. Oh my life. If you are able to rap well, yeah, it's a lose lose. Because if you're able to rap well and out rap one another, whoever whoever wins, then what does that say about you as a person? Because it means you like know how bands. to rap exactly, <laughs> oh, exactly. No. So at the end of the day, it's a lose lose situation. Yeah, and that amuses Wonderful. me greatly. If it goes well, it goes badly. If it goes right. badly, it goes, it goes badly. <laughs> Brilliant. Right. Okay, so the random rap battle commences. Ivan, you are in the driving seat of judging this. It's Haley versus Kev versus the Baker Man in a random rap battle about boy bands. Let's do this. Who's going to go first? I went first last time. They so. did, I did. <laughs> I always go. So that every week, every I, week I, go I actually first. volunteered last week to go. Are oh, you volunteering this week to go? No, first. no, I oh, did brilliant. last week. Kevin, oh. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin. Okay. Boom, bye, yeah. <laughs> that a, that's a football chart, I think. I don't, Is it? I don't know anything about football. Okay. We're going in. Pick of the game. Going in strong. Bad boy bands. Let's do uh, this. Uh, uh. So I bought my mother. Oh, <laughs> Epic <laughs> fail. Okay. Epic fail. Here we go again. I'll go. I'll go. go. Here we go. Go on, Kev. So I bought my long suffering mother tickets to see Take That, but she asked me, Do you wanna come with me? I said, Hell no, mother, I wouldn't wanna see that path. But anyway, I was in my car trying to drive home from work, and the traffic by the junction six was so bad because of Take That, I had to get out of my car to take a look at that. <laughs> what did I see? Lots of mummies, older mummies, and the honeys, and the cars, and the queues to see Take That. I was like, damn, why? It's Robbie Williams. He's not good. <laughs> Actually, Kevin, I just want you to know that I have lost all respect. Oh, oh no! <laughs> no! That's why I was good. That was an amazing rap. But you're right. You, so what? Lost your all knowledge of Tate, that was inappropriate. <laughs> I didn't say anything yeah, about Tate. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Theory. Hayley. Okay. Over to you, my girl. You know stuff about boy bands. Yeah, I do. You slept with them all for a start. Oh! I'm really joking. I'm joking. Oh. I'm joking. You haven't well, had everyone... sex in ages. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. You do it all the time. Carry on. <laughs> Oh. I can't get out of this. <laughs> Boy bands, Hayley. Right, beat Kev. Okay. I don't think you're going to beat Kev. That was no, awesome. No, I'm really not. Um, from Boyden to Backstreet to the 911. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that can't be it. You've got to keep going. Here we go. From Boyden to Backstreet, Backstreet to, to 911. They all know. <laughs> <in> the <world. laughs> what? <laughs> can't say that. Yeah, but <laughs> if, if, if the judge can say something, actually. Hayley, I'm afraid that uh, you did not win. <laughs> oh, there we go. But oh, on the plus side, this what? is something to treasure, to be happy about. Yes. To be yeah. very, very happy about. Because Kevin, because he's a sad loser, he was the one who won because his rap was fantastic. Well, let's not get carried oh. away. He's not won yet. Uh, There's one person left. Oh, me. yeah. <laughs> the Baker Man. Uh, let's do this. Okay. Give me that beat, Dre. Yeah, you love it. <laughs> Here we go. With so much drama in the LBC, it's kind of hard being Ali Baker Man B. But what do I know about boy bands? Nothing. So I'm not even going to rap about boy bands, but that would be breaking the rules. So I'm going to go back to the boy band, old school, 911, Backstreet Boys, singing in the car with my girls and my toys. Don't know what toys I'm talking about. I didn't have toys in my car. I had no girls either. Ah, oh, when I was listening to Backstreet Boys, Backstreet Boys were just boys with their toys. I can't. Stop rhyming boys with toys Because I don't know anything else to rhyme with boys Other than toys But you like a toy boy Like Kevin said Because you're a take that fan And take that fans like boy But I'll f***ing <laughs> <laughs> That was rubbish I wasn't going anywhere yeah, with that yeah, Kev well, wins that, that, right that, Definitely, definitely Kev, Kev wins Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Feel the game. No don't cheer yet oh. Actually what you've earned you know, The right you've earned yourself The privilege you've earned yourself Is to leave the studio now
Yeah, not get being, out. I'm not, I'm not being associated with anybody who's oh, into, who, who, who can this rap. This guy, man, I've been on the show nearly two years. Yeah, but but he's kicking me out of the studio. I'm not damn, man. The fact of the matter is, I mean, what do you think the manager's going to say? The yeah. big guy's going to say. If he comes back and he's... You, he doesn't listen. What the hell is this about, man? <laughs> he loves Take That. You guys rapping about boy <laughs> bands. Yeah, I'm to be sorry. fair, James, the manager of Kerrang, does love Take That. Big fan. To the point yeah, where they yeah, when yeah. when they were playing in Birmingham the other night as featured in my rap, he actually. <laughs> he actually <laughs> How do you know that? As no, because he told me rap. because he told me about it because he timed his journey home on his bicycle, and he went the long way, so he had to go past Villa Park <laughs> so he could pull up in a lay by and listen. <laughs> oh my god! 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 Oh my Rode home on his bicycle <laughs> and pulled over in a lay by so he could listen <laughs> to take that. Brilliant. Ah, oh, James, I love you, dude. Do, do you know what? I've just decided now. Uh, I know it's cash for kids and it's a charity for everything, but. You're I going, want, aren't I, you? I want my money back. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, this place? This is not what I signed up what for. What is this place? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, there we go. So the random rap battle this week goes to Kevin. Yeah! Woo! Oh, oh, well oh, done, guys. So. You're winning every week. I'm going to have to go first one time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See if I can, yeah, we're not making any difference. I know why it is as well. It's because your girlfriend likes rap. What? How does that make a difference? Because she plays it to you all the time. You just said you love rap at the start of this link. Uh, yeah, but I don't listen to it fair. regularly, but you're listening to it all the time. Because you've, no, really? you've got no say in your relationship. It's obvious. <laughs> <laughs> She's the intelligent one. You just do what she says. <laughs> I'm only really joking. Wow. So there we go. So that was the, so. What we were doing anyway before the random rap battle rudely interrupted is we were talking about the greatest film of all time. 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 Seems like ages ago we were talking about this. Yeah. Good echo effect, Kev. Come back. Thank you. So it's very difficult to decide on the greatest film of all time. Time. <laughs> There's so many to choose from. Uh, you can't just pluck one out of the air. So what we decided to do, it seems like forever ago is break it down into genre and get you guys to decide on the winner of each genre so the winners so far are as follows I'm going to try and do it all in one breath okay. <sighs> Gangster Goodfellas Comedy Anchorman Horror Nightmare on Elm Street Original Version Action Die Hard Kids Film Toy Story Thriller Donnie Darko Sci-Fi Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back Rom-Com Love Actually Drama The Shawshank Redemption Adventure Pirates of the Caribbean The First One Musical The Rocky Horror Picture Show Disaster Armageddon War Saving Pride Ryan Weston The Good Bad The Ugly Chick Flick Mean Girls and last week <gasps> I did it so, yeah. Yeah. Bad. Bad. Last bad. week we asked you what was the greatest teen movie of all time? Time, time. time. <laughs> you got to love Kevin's echo effect, That's right? Fantastic. It's just amazing. So the greatest. Uh, so the top five were the following: Scott Pilgrim versus the World, which is awful. Uh, well, no world. Well, no, it no, was no, awful. No, Ivan, no, that's a cool, no. Ivan Lewis that. Coker. That, that is an that awful was, film. That was hilarious. I loved it. Oh, I thought it was damn, cool. damn you! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, also, The Breakfast Club was a classic. Uh, Ferris Bueller's Days Off. Mm-hmm. Not a fan. No, not a fan bought, of the Bueller. I bought the DVD recently because to see what all the fuss was about and hated and it. And I was not impressed. It's um, <laughs> Fer- <laughs> not impressed. Ferris Bueller's Day Off is a weird one for me because it's one of the seven films that I've seen. Yeah, and um, <laughs> and, <laughs> and the reason I've seen it, is along with Mean Girls. Yeah, yeah, I was on a school trip to Germany. Yeah, and we went by coach, which takes. Ages. It's like 20 hours. Yeah, 20 <laughs> hours. And uh, on the coach, they had a TV and they had two DVDs. All my cons. And they said, right, we've got two films we can watch. We've got two DVDs we can watch. In fact, yeah, we've got two films we can watch. American Pie and Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Oh. So everyone was like, yeah, American Pie, woo, let's get it on. Yeah. And then they got it out and saw that it was a 15. They were like, oh, not everyone on the coach is 15, oh, so we can't watch on. it. Oh. So we watched Ferris Bueller's Day Off seven times. Oh, my God. Really? Oh, Just watched no, it on no, repeat? No. On repeat. No. That's like torture. Yeah. You Did you go to school in Guantanamo Bay? <laughs> 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 oh, my God. I like Ferris Bueller's Day Off, but that, I don't like it that much. Yeah, nope. I do. Seven times back to back. I couldn't even watch something good. So I couldn't listen to this show. Yeah. Seven <laughs> times back to back. Wait a second. Wait a second. As you said that you, you know, Ferris Bueller's Day Off was brilliant last week. Yeah, well, I changed my mind a lot. It just remember, it just whatever comes out of my mind, out of my mouth at the time. That's what I go with. <laughs> uh, you know what it is? I think it's because it's host privilege. It's yeah, exactly. guest privilege because you know you just, you just want to agree with me so that I don't yeah I'm just, disillusioned. Yeah, totally. Yeah, you know, I, the, I, the wonderful Alex and have this you're on a pedestal and I don't want to walk away with. Well, you I wasn't going to say anything. Well. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but uh, yes, I do feel like I'm in my ivory tower right now. Uh, <laughs> uh, also, we had Super Bad as well. Great film. Yeah. Everyone seen Super Bad? Like- I've yeah. not seen that, no. You don't. Oh, I reserved it from there for. Okay. Uh, but the winner, my friends, was, of course, American Pie. Woo! Woo! Up in here. Up in here. Up in here. American Pie inducted into the greatest film of all time. Time! Time! Hall of Fame. Time! In the teen movie, Time! it can stop Echo Effect. Don't worry. In the teen movie <laughs> category, there need to be at least four. Okay, sorry. Time, 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 time. <laughs> right. uh, so there we go. American Pie, well done. Uh, American Pie is the greatest teen movie of all time. Potentially only to be trumped by not another teen movie, which is hilarious. But that's a spoof, not really a teen movie. Mm, so yeah. Yeah. we'll come to that. Next, in fact, because... Oh, no, 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 we won't. Sports, next. <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> so now we move on to the sports category. And we are asking you, what is the greatest sports film... Oh, my God, do we have to do this again? Oh, my God. <laughs> of all time! 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 Yeah, I, like, cool. I like how Kevin's pants are almost, you know, yeah. down out. his ass. Like They're totally out. That's- have a grab. <laughs> You'll never go back. <laughs> <laughs> so up next, it's sports, the sports category. Anyone a fan of sports movies? I am, actually. I've you are? A few. Coach Have Carter. You? Coach yeah. Carter is a great film. I uh, think, Remember the Titans. Remember the Titans is a great Sick film. film. Okay, The Blind Side. The Blind Side. Oh, yeah. That's a great film. That's Sandra cool. Bullock. Like she is yeah, so cool. hot. Yeah, and she right. looks after some huge American football player. Yeah, that's there, exactly man. right, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be very right. emotional. Good film, yeah. The Blind just, Side. What about things like Bend It Like Beckham? Bend It Like Beckham, that's a sport film. There's sport and film. Goal. Involved goal. Uh, well, I watched one the other day. Um, Friday Night Lights or Saturday Night Lights. I can't remember. It's an American football one. That was awesome. Can I throw in a potential winner into the ranks? Oh. Do it. The Mighty Ducks. The oh, Mighty Ducks. Yes. Up in here. Up in here. Up in here. Up in here. That is a good tune. Uh. The film. <laughs> I got confused by DMX. <laughs> Who wouldn't? <laughs> but there we go. So there's some great sports movies put out there. But what is, my friend, the greatest sports movie of all time? Oh, wait. Time. No, you can't start again. You ruined it. <laughs> what, is, what is the great? No, stop. No, stop it. You didn't do it right. Sorry. What is the greatest sports movie of all time? Um, uh, get on facebook.com forward slash Kerrang Radio now and suggest your favourite. Now, what will happen is the ones that are repeated most frequently will form our top five. And then next week on the show, we'll be asking you to vote poll, nay, on the top five. And one will be inducted into the greatest film of all time, Hall of Fame. Now, the following step is very interesting. Once we've decided on all the different... In, in, there's loads of genres left. Spoof, documentary, anime, biopic. Who wrote these? Did you write them? Yeah. yeah. Epic. Biopic's an important genre. <laughs> Epic slash historic, and then obviously good films that just aren't on the list so far. Oh, a little bit up there. Apologies. Not very professional. That's why I'm not on the BBC. Uh, <laughs> plus, yeah. Uh, anyway, so um, that's what's happening. I've completely lost my thread. Uh, Facebook.com forward slash Kerrang Radio. Also, Twitter at Alex Baker Man. What is the greatest sports movie ever? <laughs> uh, you were saying, by the way, that the next step is the exciting bit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Train of thought. Back on tracks. Through the mountain of discovering, <laughs> <laughs> every man has a treasure. <laughs> exactly. Um, so yeah. Then after we've decided on the the final list, we're then going to pit them all off against each other in an epic battle of epic proportions, and end up with one winner. That winning film will be screened at the Electric Cinema in Birmingham, potentially. Still haven't quite figured it out with them, but I'm sure they'll be fine with it. <laughs> and you guys will be able to come down, eat their food, drink their drink and have a merry old time watch whilst watching the winning film, which could be, if it was any of these, I'd be happy, because they're all awesome. Apart from the good, the bad, and the ugly, I don't like westerns. I don't nah, want that to win. Nah, let's not have that win. Western, yeah, please, westerns suck, not. don't they? Nah, Why so bother? Animals, yeah. It's boring. Uh, so that's, that's what's happening. Sports films, greatest one ever. Facebook.com, forward slash Kerrang Radio. The Alex Baker Show Podcast. One, you made it almost an hour of listening to the Alex Baker Show podcast. High five, salutes, dry humping, and all the rest of it. Welcome to it. Uh, my name's Alex Baker. Just inserting a little bit here, just because uh, I just want to make you aware of the fact that it's a slightly different show this time around because there's a chap in the studio with us called Ivan Lewis Coker. Uh, he joined us on the show on Sunday night, didn't he, Kev? He did indeed. Now, Ivan Lewis Coker actually won a Cash for Kids auction. So we've got an, a charity at Kerrang Radio called Cash for Kids, and he actually auctioned and bidded to be on the show, to co-host the show. Uh, 
that's why he's on the show and that's why he's in the podcast, if that makes sense. I just realised the fact that the, the podcast has been going on for a while now and I may not have explained who he was enough in this edited version of the show, if that makes sense. Probably doesn't make sense. But now you know who he is because he features quite a lot in this link and I wanted you to know who he was. I didn't want it to be one of those insular radio shows where you're like, who the hell is this guy? What? Oh, he's not usually, what's going on? I wanted to explain. Yeah, don't worry about who me and Haley are. Yeah, well, yeah, but people know that's explained in the show. <laughs> I explain that all the time. But it's just this guy. Yeah. Oh, like, my phone's ringing. This man. Phone's ringing. It's really unprofessional. Oh, who is it? Oh, it's Mel. Anyway, let's go back into it. <laughs> Alex Baker Show. <sighs> oh, f- my life. F my life. With fmylife.com. Yeah, that's right. It's a brand new feature here on the Alex Baker Show. Sunday nights, 10 till 12, you know how we do. No matter where you are in the world, this is a new feature that's sweeping the nation. It's called F My Life. You know when things happen in your life and you just think, oh, F my life. Why did that have to happen? Um, Actually, this is an example of one. This is something I've spoken about on the show before. I once had a crazy, ridiculous thing that happened one morning where I went to the toilet and my phone was being really annoying so I threw my phone wanting to throw it onto my bed do you remember this story guys? oh yeah, yeah. I went to throw it onto my bed but I threw it really hard and it bounced off my bed and went out the window <laughs> <laughs> I live on a second floor flat so it just plummeted to earth my phone's never been the same first and at that point I sort of held my head in my hands and went oh my life. <laughs> That's what this feature is all about. So facebook.com forward slash Kerrang Radio. What has happened this week that's made you go F my life? Get them in now. We'll read out some of the best ones on next week's show because what we did last week is ask for the very same thing and we've got some of the very best ones that you guys sent in and I've also taken some off the website fmylife.com which if you've never been on there is a smorgasbord of incredible things that happen to decent people. <laughs> for example, here's one. Today, I forgot to do my French homework, but since it was an online worksheet, I told my teacher my internet wasn't working. I told her with an email. F my life. (laughs) (laughs) Today, I had drunk sex with a girl that I barely knew. I didn't have a condom and was nervous about getting her pregnant, but she assured me that I could pull out. So this is really rude. Uh, Right when I was about to pull out, she wrapped her legs around me and yelled, Be my baby's daddy! (laughs) I couldn't get out in time. F my life. Oh my God! Holy Christ! Um, oh my God, he actually wrote on that wall! I know! Oh I know, talk about getting personal. Uh, today I was out on a date with a guy. His hot co-worker came to have a beer with us, and I knew my best friend would think he was gorgeous. I wanted to take a picture of him without him knowing, so I tried to hold up my phone and pretend to be texting. The flash went off. <laughs> oh, <laughs> F my life. <laughs> These are brilliant. Uh, today I was looking at the refrigerator for something to drink. I found a jug of lemonade with a piece of paper on it saying, Mum's lemonade, do not drink. I was really thirsty, so I ignored it and drank the whole jug. My mum is about to have a colonoscopy and had filled it with laxatives. <laughs> F my life. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got from some of the listeners, guys? Uh, I've got one from Jack Alliston, which says, The other day I was trying to get my two drunken mates back to my house because I foolishly said they could stay after going to a party. I was sneaking them upstairs quietly, then had to kick my dad out of the bathroom so my mate could throw up, <laughs> only to have him fall over with his kegs down and then throw up in mid-fall all over the bathroom and himself. F my life. <laughs> oh, my word. Brilliant. Brilliant. I've got one from Ellie Lang. The other day, I fell over in front of Gerard Way. He laughed, but then helped me up, probably because he felt sorry for me. F my life. Oh, oh man. No. A celebrity F my life. Oh, you God. You just know she adored him as well. He's probably her idol. Like, oh, yeah. my God, it's Gerard. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ow. Face F- plant. F my life. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh uh, also, Ivan's in the studio tonight, by the way. If you've just tuned in, Ivan is the man. He is co-hosting the show with us tonight. He won the Cash for Kids auction. He's come in all the way from Milton Cuisines to be on the show tonight. And uh, you've been trawling the F My Life website and found some of your favourite ones as well. What yep. have you got? Today, I texted my college boyfriend to tell him how I terrible I felt about cheating. He replied saying he was so relieved because he had been cheating on me with a girl in his dorm. <laughs> I was talking about my math exam. F my life. Oh! Oh. 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 F my life. 
Oh, man. That is Bad. brutal. Oh, I've got another one here. Today I was dressing in my apartment when I noticed I left the blinds open. Outside, a maintenance man was mowing the grass with an eye shot. I figured I'd leave the eye, the blinds open and give him a little peek of the goods. Uh, later, I found a note on my window saying, next time, love, close the blinds. FML. Oh. oh. Please. Oh, this is a great one for you as well, Hayley. Oh, oh, this is totally for you. Today, Mike, I can so imagine you doing this. <laughs> Today, my crush was walking up to me, so I put my earphones in, you know, playing hard to get. When I heard him say something about a date, I take an earphone out and say, Oh, I didn't see you there. Sorry, what did you say? His response, uh, your earphones aren't connected to anything. And he holds up, holds up the end of my earphones and walks away. F my life. Oh. Cool fail. I can fail. imagine doing that. Yeah. Oh. What have we got, guys? I've got one more here. Today, my son said, Mommy. Sometimes my PP goes up and down like a stick. I replied, well, honey, that's normal and okay. I then asked when it happens, to which he said, well, sometimes when watching Scooby-Doo and Shaggy comes out dressed in ladies' clothes. F my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God, that's amazing. <laughs> It's absolutely amazing. It's okay, I had a, check, a crush on Shaggy too. Today I was taking an exam and I knew I was un- unprepared. So I wrote some cheat notes on my ankle. Oh, naughty. As I crossed my legs to look at my notes, I realised I'd worn tall boots to class. I can't even cheat properly. F my life. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Brilliant. So he wrote his ankle and then put big shoes on. What a knobhead. Kev, what we got? Uh, I've got a really simple one here from uh, facebook.com forward slash crying radio. No big deal. Um, How are you, Ryan Adair says... I have to dress up as a girl in final assembly tomorrow in school. F my life. Oh. <laughs> that, Simple. But that's pretty bad, though, because final assembly, that's going to be like the whole Everyone's school. Everyone's there. Yeah. Everyone's and you're there. there as a girl, loving it. Donald Duck. Everyone's last memory of you. Yeah. As a girl. Before they go on and be more successful than you. Yeah. 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 Tell me about I've that. got one that's a bit more long-winded, but it's hilarious. It's from Lawrence Nelson. He says, well, my next door neighbours went away on holiday and asked me to look after their rabbits and chickens that they own. So f- for the first night, I fed them and put them back in their pens. On the second night, I just got skate two and, well, skate two's addictive. It is. Therefore, I forgot to put them back in. Mm. I woke up in the morning and a fox had eaten all three chickens they owned. <gasps> they get back on Wednesday and I still haven't told them. Oh, my, God. my, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's so brutal. You can imagine all the chickens and the fox. <laughs> you can just imagine as well. He's probably not even, like, done anything with the chickens. You can oh, just imagine just there, dead. slaughtered chickens all over their garden. Yeah. Like, oh sitting oh in the middle God. of it all shaking. <laughs> <laughs> it's a massacre. A chicken massacre. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I've got one more actually here, but this is actually an... A moderation. It's a f my own life. Oh, this is this, this is an Ivan. This happened to me. F-ing up his life. You're damn right. <laughs> oh You're god. Right. Here we go. Uh, a few years ago, I used to work in a software company, and uh, and there's a bit of software that I needed. Yeah. To to, to do what I needed to, to facilitate do. the software creation. Exactly. You're damn right. <laughs> I emailed the chap for some help with some software that I was trying to do because it was really really difficult, and I said, look, I need help with this, um, because he was a specialist in that kind of software, and. Uh, he mailed me back and said, actually, I've got some some code that will actually do that for you and I'll sell it to you for $10. So I kind of thought, whoopee! And I ran into the MD's office. Yeah. And I was, you know, bouncing up and down saying, look, look, this guy's going to send me this code that I really, really need. We really need it just for $10 because I can't write it. $10. And he was all fantastic. He was brilliant. Okay, we're going to do the help. Go and sort it out. We'll go ahead and do that. And uh, I came back to my desk and that's when I noticed the K. After the 10. Oh. <laughs> F my life. Oh. $10,000 there. Yep. F my life. F my life. <laughs> well, there we go. F my life is just the best feature in the world. It's obviously a shame when things go wrong in your life, but it's also very, very funny. So, <laughs> facebook.com forward slash Kerrang Radio. What has been effing your life up? Or you can put them on there. Or you can put them on F- fmylife.com because we get some off there as well because the guys at fmylife.com are awesome and we love them very, very much. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty cool, right? Damn right. Feature done. I feel, I feel like it's come to a natural close. The Alex Baker Show podcast. The future. Oh, yeah, it's time the for time this. Not yet come. You know what time it is. What is to come? Yes, awesome things that don't exist but should exist as we awesome. 
if they did a simple invention feature where you guys get fa- on facebook.com forward slash Kerrang Radio or on the text 6400 starting your message with the word play or you can get me on Twitter at Alex Bakerman or email me uh, through the website kerrangradio.co.uk loads of ways of getting involved with the Shizzo tonight uh, so awesome things that don't exist but should exist as it would be awesome if they did it's all about this inventions amazing inventions world changing problem solving inventions inventions that are so good they blow your mind inventions that would make the dragons jizz in their pants you know even Deborah Meaden would jizz in her pants that's what we're talking about those type of inventions that's <laughs> disgusting what a horrible image uh, so for example on facebook.com forward slash Kerrang Radio ages ago because we've not done this feature in a while Hazel Coombs said something that records your thoughts at night because I don't know about you, but some of my greatest ideas come to me at night. And after faffing around, switching lights on and trying to find a pen, my genius idea has gone. So there should be a thing that you just shout, record, then mutter what you're thinking. Then it plays it back to you as an alarm in the morning. What a brilliant idea. That's good. That is an amazing idea. But I have to say, Hazel Coombs doesn't quite make the awesome things uh, list of awesomeness. Just made that up. Because... Uh, that ad actually does exist. You can buy an app or get an app for free on your iPhone, I think. And all well, there are devices available. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it, it's called like Sleep Recorder. And every time you make a little sound in your sleep, it starts recording. And oh, it detects you making the sound. It detects you making the sound. And the only reason I've not downloaded it is because even though I haven't seen the film, I hate the idea of something happening like I believe happens in Paranormal Activity. Oh, ha- so like oh. hearing something when yeah. you play it back. Because imagine morning. how much that would freak you out if you listened back to it and you just heard... <laughs> oh, my God. I'm watching you sleep, Alex. Or something like that. That'd be terrifying. Yeah. So I haven't downloaded that myself presently. But I might. I can be swayed. Stop doing the scary sound. It's horrible. <laughs> uh, and also, another thing that I have to say about that is all you should do is actually just have a pen and paper next to your bed ready. Like I... I do because all my greatest ideas come to me in my sleep. Every feature you've ever heard on this show, bar Patricia Pafalski, which is what Kev came up with, <laughs> has come to me in a dream, and that is true, actual facts in my life facts, real world facts. And also, I had a dream once, and this is why I started this dream diary thing because I had a dream once when I was much, much younger. I used to play a lot of basketball when I was a kid, and I had a dream. Uh, and in my dream, Michael Jordan himself. If you don't know who Michael Jordan is, don't listen to the show. Go away. <laughs> shame on you. Yeah, shame on Even you. Even I know who Michael Jordan Even is. Even Haley. Do you? Who is he? He's the guy's space jam. You are actually the best. <laughs> I, think the best. I love Haley so much. That is so awesome. He's the guy in Space Jam. He is the guy in Space Jam. You're not even wrong, you know? Uh, That's exactly. great. Uh, <laughs> That's brilliant. One of the most influential sportsmen of all time. <laughs> Reduced to being in a film with Bugs Bunny. Uh, brilliant. Well, it's a really good film. It is a good film. And you can get it actually on Xbox for very cheap at the moment. Oh my God, that sounded like a sales message. Apologies. It did, didn't it? Please don't complain. Well, there's no commercial responsibility. Oh, there's no commercial partnership involved. Oh, sh- I'm really. We also love PlayStation. Yeah, PlayStation's yeah, great right, too. Yeah. And also, there are other films. <laughs> and, oh my <laughs> God, <laughs> what's happening? Uh, but yeah, so, uh, yeah, and in my dream, Michael Jordan taught me how to dunk. He said there's a special way you need to jump in order, in order to have the ups to enable, to enable you to slam dunk a ball. And he taught me, and in my dream, I could do it. And I woke up and I completely forgot the information. And I was like, <laughs> Michael Jordan taught me how to dunk. And I didn't write it down. And I didn't have a dream job. Ju- oh. What? Oh, so very annoying. Ebony lives the pop way. What a name! She says a puberty pill for people who haven't reached it yet. Oh, <clears throat> deep. Connor Daly says Slayer. <laughs> Steve Brophy says, "Don't you hate it when your nose or your head itches and you're playing Guitar Hero or a racing game?" Yes, for a start. I do hate that. They should totally have cl- have a claw that you can plug into the Xbox controller and it can also work for beer and Doritos. <laughs> yeah, boy! <laughs> like, yeah, boy! No, 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 I was going to say, it can go for anything in life where your hands are busy. Yeah, so, like, sex. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Like that. yeah, who's making the sandwiches? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Exactly. I, I like to finish every bout of sex with a sandwich. Uh, and I, Doesn't love, surprise me. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. I, I love how he, w- this guy's put yeah boy. He put yeah boy, but with question marks. <laughs> so it's like yeah, a, a kind of Will Ferrell type. Yeah boy! <laughs> In there. Joe the goddamn Batman Olwood says a waterbed would be an awesome thing. However, this time you sleep under the water <laughs> with a mask on so you can breathe and the water is heated. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Night sleep. 
<laughs> nice, nice input there from <laughs> Ivan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? That's the most ridiculous idea ever. A waterbed. However, this time you sleep under the water with a mask on so you can breathe, and the water is heated. Perfect night's sleep. What? Yeah. That's the most ridiculous idea ever. I feel ever. quite relaxing being underwater, though. Yeah, but... No, it would, it would not be relaxing being drowned <laughs> in your bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That's ridiculous. Uh, uh, Jamie Mark True says a portal gun. That would be amazing. If you haven't played the game Portal, it's very good. Why do I keep bigging up products in tonight's <laughs> yeah, show? Yeah, exactly Where's right. my Nando's black card? The Alex Baker Show podcast. Awesome! Awesome things that don't exist but should exist. It would be awesome if they did. Yes, welcome to Awesome Things That Don't Exist But Should Exist, as it would be awesome if they did. I've decided to put this on. Yeah, that droney sound. Just for fun. It makes things sound all suspenseful and full of tension. Is suspenseful a word? It can be. I think so. It is now. Baker's Dictionary. <laughs> next to Collins in the dictionary world. <laughs> so, uh, what we're going to do now is go around the room and come up with some awesome things, because that's my friends how we roll. We are the inventive hub Ooh. here at Crank Radio. Ivan! Okay, I've got one here. It's more of a service than anything else. It's rent a kid. Rent a kid. Yeah. Ivan, I'll be honest. This sounds dodgy. <laughs> We're yes, live on radio. Yes, yes, yes. Let me, <laughs> let me expound. What it is? It's a service to see if you could hack having a child of your own. Ah, okay. So basically, I'm involved. Hmm? I'm involved. I'm at a key, yeah, a key yeah, moment yeah, in my yeah, life where yeah. I might need this service. Yeah, indeed, indeed, yeah, yeah. Because you know, there's been times like when I was with a friend last week and he had his kids over and the kids were really cute. Yeah. And you're really like, but man, I was knackered. Yeah. yeah. And I absolutely could not do with all the. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to play charades. I, I couldn't hack it. Yeah. I wanted to kill her. You wanted to murder his kids. Exactly. Kid murderer. I do quite like that these kids wanted to play charades, though. <laughs> yeah. 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 They've been raised well. Yeah. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, is it the English patient? Oh, I love the English patient, father. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, is it, is it that song, that film with, with Keira Knightley? You know, Atonement. <laughs> I, I, like, I used to know a kid like that. He was called Hugo, right? It was my old girlfriend's nephew, I think. And he was literally about four years old. And he wore a bow tie. It was oh. called Hugo. And it, you could have a conversation with this four-year-old kid like he was a grown man. Oh, I had a conversation like with Hugo about philosophy. He was like, well, Alex, the thing about philosophy is... And I was like, you're a f***ing four! You're a four! When I was four, I was like poking myself in the dick. <laughs> you know I mean? Yes, Alex, the thing about philosophy. I could not believe it. But anyway, Red the Kid, back to the, back to the, uh, the serious point. Yeah. I love rent a kid because I'm in a point in my life where my girlfriend keeps saying to me, or my fiance, should I say, keeps saying, Should we have a kid? Should we think about having a kid? I'm like, oh, yeah, It could be a bit problematic, that, you know, with clearing up the poo and lack of money. <laughs> so if we, if we could do rent a kid, if we could just pop down to our local, local rent a kid store. That's exactly right. Um, you could serve us there and you could, give, you could say, Which one do you want? And I could go, That one. And you know, maybe he looks all sort of gnarled and troublesome, so yeah. I can try and put Mel off. <laughs> <laughs> I take this sort of kid home, like holding him at arm's length, like because he's him biting. Mel. Yeah, he's like, nah, 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 nah. and give him, give Mel the kid, and she'd be like, "Yeah, this is a bad idea." It's kidding. <laughs> or it goes the other way, and like he just really takes to Mel. And Mel's like, "Oh, can we keep it?" Oh no! But, like, in which case, you're screwed. He's, yeah, yeah, he's like really nice in front of her towards you, but then as soon as she walks out the room, he's like, "I'm gonna kill you." Like the omen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But would, they, but would there be like late fees? Because it is a rental service. Yeah, that's so if she turned around and said, I want to keep him, they can't do that, man. You've run up for debt. Well, there are no more late fees. It's just an extra pound well, a night. No. <laughs> <laughs> no more late fees. <laughs> Out now. <laughs> They're right. free. Yeah, membership's free. Membership's free. Don't know what we're talking about. There are other, There's not other many other shops available that rent videos, is there? I don't know. Apart from the, the, the library. Line yeah. The online one. I rented, I rented a Megadeth CD from the library once. Can you believe that? What? I went to the library and they had CDs like Bach and Sibelius. Oh, yeah. And, and then they had Megadeth. <laughs> <laughs> right. And I rented it and I never gave it back either. <laughs> Sorry, wow. Barnet Library. Fantastic. Still got your Megadeth CD. Uh, okay, so I like Rent a Kid. That's in the bag. Yeah. Hayley, over to you, my love. Oh, yeah. Right, well, I've currently moved into a new house. Hey! Yay! And I found that my room in my new house is remarkably hot. Oh, yeah. Like, maybe it's just because the weather's been, hot. been quite grand over the past few weeks. Why have you turned into Hugo? I don't know. <laughs> no. But, um, yeah, it's just unbearable to sleep in. 
So, you know, when you have to open your windows at night, but then it gets, like, it rains or it gets cold and then you're like, you don't want to get out of bed to shut the windows. Yeah, yeah. I know we've done something with a curtain before that adjusts to the light, you know. Yeah, with the like, Velcro curtain. Yeah. But I'd like something that detects noise and temperature. Mm. So, like, when you're lying in bed... Like a bedroom system. Yes. Yeah. So, like, like... I was lying in bed and I was perfectly cool, but then there was loads of noise because the windows are open. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. some sort of barrier that goes up that still keeps the cool going in, but but blocks out the noise. Yes. That'd be awesome. Or you could get you could get those um, you could have speakers in your room, and as the noise comes in through the window, it goes into a microphone. It then inverts the frequency and plays that frequency. Negative out of the feedback. Speakers. Negative feedback and cancels oh. out the room's noise. That'd be rad. Oh, that's what awesome the hell are you thing. talking about, man? Have you never heard about negative feedback? That's how that headphones work. You know the noise cancelling headphones. They have little microphones. And they pick up the ambient sound and then re- invert it and play that sound into your head, and it cancels out the sound. It's right. amazing. They just call it noise cancelling headphones because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not smart enough to be able to figure out all the mechanics. Of Neither am I, work, dude. So I just <laughs> didn't understand all. Google, this. man, get on Google. Yeah. I'm the same. These two are like technical whizzes, so I just yeah. nod along like, I, yeah, 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 exactly. I just felt really stupid just then. You see, that was all. I was just Don't trying to stupid. It was, it was an ego thing. I was defending my manhood. Oh, Kevin, God. it's time for you, my friend, to um, give us an awesome thing. Have you got any awesome things this week? Of course, I've missed this. Yeah, I've been building up a good one. Oh, have oh. you? Yeah. Have you named it as well? Oh yeah. Because oh, okay. the thing is, we were off for a couple of weeks, we were. and then we were back last week, but we didn't do awesome things. Yeah. So this has been building up inside of me for a long time. Brewing. <laughs> like a really bad poo. All right, picture the scene. Um, oh, dear. <laughs> You're listening to the show. You know how difficult I find it to picture yeah. the scene. Right, so if you've never heard the show before, Ow. I know you'll probably never listen again. <laughs> but if you've never heard the show before, welcome to the show. It's the Alex Baker Show. My name's Alex Baker. In the studio with me, it's Hayley, Kevin and Ivan. I am rubbish at picturing scenes. Kevin, when we do awesome things, often asks me to picture the scene. It's something I'm very bad at, so bear with me as we explore the contents of Kevin's mind. Okay. Hit me. So, this... Oh. This might be a bit harder for you to picture the scene than it would be for me. Brilliant. Because this is something that I do a lot for you. Okay. But you probably never do for me. Wash my back. <laughs> okay. We weren't supposed to talk about that. <laughs> Secretly wash my back. So, you're in the office. Nando's black card! <laughs> Don't have the podcast! Don't have the podcast! You're in the office. Uh, I am in the office. Well, I'm in the studio, but technically it's part of the same building. Yeah, okay. My phone rings. I'm at my desk. What? How, can you hear it? I can't. Is it at your desk now? Yeah. Is it ringing? Don't you want to get it? It might be important. No, no, because I'm not. Of, I'm not there. People aren't going to be ringing you this late at night if it's not important, dude. You better go and get your phone. I'm away from the How desk. How do you know though? it's ringing though? No, I mean you're at the you're in the office and you hear my phone ring and you look. Kev, your phone's ringing, mate. Oh, that was weird. That's your phone. <laughs> your phone's ringing. Why have you got your phone on in the studio? <laughs> no, no, my desk phone. We're, not in, we're not in the studio. We are. No, you're right got, here. You've it's got this to fade everything. Yo, show. <laughs> Right here. You've got to imagine, Alex. Think back to four hours ago. Why is that back on? Okay. Think back to four hours ago when we were sitting in the office. Yes, okay, I'm sitting in the office. It's four hours ago. You hear my desk phone ring. Kev, your phone's ringing. I'm not at my desk. Oh, where's Kevin? I've gone to the toilet. Oh, he's in the toilet. So you think, oh, oh, it is late at night. Maybe that's important. I'd better answer it. Yeah, it's not so, that late. It's four hours ago, but still. Yeah, so you so you, so you, star 30. Yeah, oh, can I answer the phone? Yeah. So you start 30 on the phone to pick it up on your phone. Hello. Can I just remind you, this is something I do for you about six times a day. Yeah, you do. You never say thank you. Oh. Um, <laughs> so you answer and say, you know. Hello. Good evening, Crown Radio. Oh, is that what I have to say? You don't even know. Hello, Crown. Oh, yeah, could you usually answer the phone and go, what's up, it's Ali B. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Alex Baker here. Alex Baker Show, Sunday night, Sunday 12. Are you a fan? No? I'll see you later. I'm a fan. So, so it's someone calling for me. Okay. And, and they say, why are oh, they calling me then? If I'm why no, because answering? you've answered the phone for me because I'm not on my desk. Oh yeah, because you're in the you toilet. Say, and you say, oh sorry, been sorry. in the toilet for ages. You say sorry, Kevin's not at his desk at the moment. Can I take a message? Who phones you? Yeah, people. Okay, <laughs> so Kevin's not at the phone at the desk at the phone. Can you take a poo? <laughs> no, can you take a message? Message. Yeah. So the person on the other end of the phone gives you quite a lot of info. So they give you their name. Name, hold on. Which office they're at in London. Name. Why are people from London ringing you? That's my team. 
<laughs> Why my team ringing you? I knew you were never off answer my your job. phone, so they're either calling me. <laughs> oh right, okay. So name. So who is it from London that's calling? Yeah, yeah. Remy. Remy. You, yeah, they give you a number to phone back. Remy wants to talk they, to they you. They give you a bit the what boss, it's about. They get distracted to tell you some other information about the meeting last week. Okay. All this, <laughs> all this time, you're trying to listen on the phone, respond to stay friendly, and you know. I do know how to talk on yeah. the phone. And also take the message. Yeah. Now, you say, okay, thanks, that's great, bye. Put the phone down. You look at the message, and it was nowhere near as coherent as what they gave you on the phone. Yeah, that would happen. That happens all the time. It yeah. doesn't make sense. It, it, you want it to be the case that you can put it on my desk. I pick it up and know exactly what happened on that phone call. This is, seems like such a rubbish idea. Yeah. No, wait, wait, wait. You want it to be the case that it makes sense. Right. But it doesn't, because you okay. can't think while you're writing and listening on the phone. I can. No, but it's hard. Just, it, it, it's not well, that it's hard. Yeah. No, but to, to write, you want, the, you want to give the full impact of the phone call in the message. Yeah, but I, yeah, but I just go, if I didn't understand what they were saying, I'd go, hold on, Rimmy, just one sec, what was that? And she'd tell me again, and I'd go, oh, okay, ba ba ba. Yeah, but then also, your handwriting probably isn't as neat as it usually is, because you're on the phone taking a message. I right. always say on the phone, take a message. But do you accept that there are people in the world, a la me... I accept that you can't take messages. <laughs> that would struggle with that, yeah? Yeah. And that wish they could take a message yeah, smoother okay. without having to think so hard about it. I, I imagine I, I can see a reason for why this awesome thing would be made, but I don't think they'd sell very well. Yeah, because you only They'd probably go into it. liquidation or something. You'd buy it and no one else. Do you want to hear it anyway? Yeah. <laughs> if we have to. I want to hear the name specifically. I, I give you. This is the one you've been storing up <laughs> yeah. for weeks. <laughs> Mainly because of the name. Yeah. I'll be honest, I thought the name first and worked backwards. <laughs> okay. I give you. Byro de Hero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Byro de Hero. <laughs> what's, he, what's he saying? He's having a conversation with hip hop. I had a conversation with hip hop. So, Byro de Hero yeah. <laughs> is a pen that channels the spirit and the lyrical <laughs> flow of hip hop into your messages. Okay, now I have to admit, now I have no idea what the hell the guy's talking about myself. Oh. What the hell? So, <laughs> so, so, you're say, so say Remy from London calls, calls you, yeah. which is annoying in itself. She's supposed to be like one of my friends. So, so, so she's calling you. Uh, I love how I vent my inner frustrations during the show. So, so she's calling you, telling you how amazing you are on your social media uh, for Kerrang. There's just so many in-jokes here. I'm so sorry, listener. Uh, Kev does social media for Kerrang. And Remy is a very important figurehead in London. And um, and she's taken a shine to Kev because he does a very good job. And she's invited him down to her some meetings in London. She still never called me, though, so don't worry. And I'm only joking because I actually really do like the fact that Kev's doing well. So just put all that aside. <laughs> just moment. get it all out there. But just to get it all it's out It's an there. intervention. But say, so she's wrong and she said uh, she wants to speak to Kev. And I'm like, oh, why don't you want to speak to me? <laughs> <laughs> And I said, oh, okay, well, I'll take a message. Oh, let me just get my biro to hero. So, and she's like, what? I'm like, don't worry, bro, it's fine. So then she says, um, Alex, can you... No, Kevin, can you call Remy in London regarding social media? And then I put that on your desk... Yeah, and then what happens? It translates to some sort of lyrical hip hop. No, it just means it just flows really nicely. So I read it, and maybe and it's yo like, Kevin, yeah. can you ring Remy? <laughs> yeah, what's yeah. up, Kevin Dizzle? Your girl Remy Hizzle called you on the fizzle and said I had a conversation with hip hop. Social nizzle, <laughs> <laughs> and something like that. Yeah. But, although not that Harry the Hero sounds like yeah. Snoop Dogg, but yeah, <laughs> what else? And I have no idea what you just said. So wouldn't it just be easier just to sort of say, oh, look? Kevin, can you call Remy in London? And how hard is it to remember that? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, exactly. I mean, you did laugh at By Road a Hero, right? Yeah, but it would have been better. This link would have been better had you just come on and gone, I got an awesome thing. By Road a Hero. Everyone laughed when we played a tune. <laughs> yeah, that's okay, what if, what if By Road a Hero wasn't yeah. that at all and all it was was it helped you write in rhyme? So for the random rap battle, for example, you think, oh, crap, I can't do this. Now it seems that, really hard. Yeah. You could quickly scribble on a piece of paper now and it automatically give you a sick rap. That yeah. is a good idea. I so now that. we're talking. So that okay. whole phone thing, load of bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> it did. It did Writing rap. rap lyrics, yeah. easily using your Byron a hero. Good exactly. plan. Yeah. yeah. 
We're all in agreement. Ivan, we're in agreement. Yeah, definitely. I actually feel bad now for having defended Kevin because that was an absolutely atrocious idea. Yeah, Sorry, you should Kevin. feel bad. Well, you know, every product has to have a prototype and it has to go through. You know, I like to call this market research. You guys are my, you know, my my testing group. At the end of the day, you know what they say: a cow is a cow because of the dog's bark. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. You know, you can lead a horse to water. You can lead a horse to water, Ivan. But the clown will always be the man. Yeah, on, I mean, on the, on other, the, dog. On the other side of the grass is a silver lining. You know? Exactly. You can take the boy out of Finchley, but you can't put him in a car boot sale. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. These are all moral lessons we can live by, I think. So, um, yeah. Byro the hero, consigned <laughs> to the dustbin of history, <laughs> unless it's for the new purpose, which is amazing. Awesome, some might say, which, my friends, is the point of this feature. Awesome things that don't exist but should exist as it would be awesome if they did. Facebook.com forward slash Kerrang Radio. Get your suggestions in for next week's show. We'll be reading out some of the best ones, as we usually do at this juncture. Here, Maguan. The world has been constrained by censorship and uninspired, unexciting, driven. Your soul may feel like it's getting crushed day by day, but there's a solution, there's a key to end all this misery, by hearing this call, you're on your way to salvation, and the man who will save you, will save you with rock, so true, and you, it's going radio it's Alex Baker show my name's Alex Baker good evening time now for something very very special here on the Alex Baker show it's time my friends for Petrusky or Pofolsky this feature is the feature that went back in time to when the Chicago Bulls won the playoff against the Boston Celtics. Did that ever happen? I don't know. Actually, I, don't know. I have no idea. Keith. Keith will probably know. He'd be like, yo, dude, let's drink a 40. Uh, so, <laughs> so, yes, this is the feature that went back in time and went into the dressing room of the legendary basketball player who was also in Space Jam, Michael Jordan. <laughs> plucked his jersey, his number 23 jersey from the locker room, went over to the bin and threw it away just because of his legendary status. That is how legendary this feature is. Oh. It's called exactly, oh no you didn't. Oh my day. I'm not even sure that story made sense, but it doesn't matter. That's how legendary <laughs> this feature is. It doesn't even make sense. It's Petrusky. Oh my God, get out! This is how it works. It's a true or false game that we named Petrusky uh, Petrusky because there's a listener on facebook.com forward slash Kerrang Radio called Alex Petrucci who has a cool name. And we thought, let's make a feature with that guy's name in tow, integrated into the feature. And this is what we came up with, what Kev came up with. He's good at naming things. Petrusky Petrusky, the legendary true or false game. What's going to happen? You can play along. Facebook.com forward slash Kerrang Radio. Twitter at Alex Baker Man. Alex Baker with a man on the end. Or on the text 6400 site message with the word play. It's just for fun. It's not for prizes. I will read out three statements. And you have to tell me whether they are Petrusky, true, or Pofolsky, false. Kevin. Quick, quick idea. Quick idea. Do you think maybe we should uh, rename it in honour of Ivan being here? As he is also a, a legendary listener. Yeah. Maybe just call it Ivan or I2. Ivan or I2? What about I... What about I-Truth or (laughs) I-False? Yeah, yeah, that could... That that would be cool. (laughs) (laughs) Your enthusiasm is contagious. No, 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 I'm just thinking about it. I'm just thinking, well, yeah, I. Because then that that kind of synonymous, like, iPod. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, I gonna, just, I'm I just deny that. I know, I know. I'm just getting word. Sorry to interrupt, guys. That uh, I forces have sold out in under thirty seconds. They've only just been released, and they're uh, sold out. <laughs> it's. 
epic fail. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Epic fail. So this is what we're doing. We're doing a welcome to the legendary true or false game, I truth or I false. <laughs> That's what's happening in legend the honour of the legendary man, Ivan Lewis Coker is in the studio right now. Oh, yes. Yeah. Let's do a cricket clap for Ivan. Is that actually how they clap? I don't know. It sounds like <laughs> that. So here we here we go with statements. Guys, you playing along in the studio, I want to see a thumbs up if it's I true or thumbs down if it's an I false, as well as the statement I true okay. or I false. Are you ready to play all three of you? Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, hey, Kevin and Ivan. Let's do this. No word in the English language rhymes with month. I truth or I true or I false. One, two, three! I, I false. false! Oh, so confusing. So you say Ivan. I false. Ivan says false. Kevin says I true. True. Uh, Kevin says true. Uh, what? I can't do this. <laughs> Haley says false. False. Hold on, I can't remember whether it's true or not. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Ivan, did you say it was false? Yeah. False. Uh, and you said it was true, and Haley said it was false. Uh, Kevin, you are correct. Yes. You guys are both wrong. There what? is no <laughs> word in the English language that rhymes with month. But, but what about dump? That's not a word. Is it? They've just made it up. <laughs> yeah, and so is pump. That's not a word either. Dunce and punts. <laughs> right. So it won uh, one nil to Kevin, unfortunately. Uh, the, <laughs> the average person falls asleep in seven minutes. Petrusky. No, I falsky. No, I truth. <laughs> I like I falsky. I falsky. I, I truthsky or, or I falsky. The average person falls asleep in seven minutes. We're learning as we're having fun. <laughs> Petrusky or Petrusky? Oh, I got it wrong again. One, two, three. Petrusky. Is that a true all around? True yeah. all around. You're all correct. Woo. That is true. Actually, I said Falsky, but I had my thumbs up. Oh, then you're wrong. Oh, you're really no, doing badly. No, 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 no. Actually, my thumbs took precedence. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, okay, thumbs to presidents. <laughs> Way! <laughs> okay. Wow, that's cheating. Uh, <laughs> let's keep going. Uh, no one knows why, but if you... Mo this is such a weird one, this. No one knows... Oh, that kind of gives it away. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Crack on. No one knows why, but if you multiply 7,768 by 2, you don't actually get the number you'd expect. For some reason, the number 7,768 does not properly multiply by 2. Petrusky, I false, yeah, true <laughs> or false? <laughs> One, two, three. I, I false key. Wow, Haley, really showing her true colours there. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously bollocks. <laughs> uh, uh, that means oh. Ivan and Kevin have both got you it right. You've got your calculator, right? <laughs> How <laughs> you just still get it wrong? Well, the thing is, though, you said it doesn't actually multiply to what you expected, and I didn't know what I expected. What to expect? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah. I can't cool. do math that quick in my head. So. <laughs> Who can? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So there we go. So Kevin, with three correct, you are this week's winner. What? You have won. Oh! That's oh, a first. No. Kevin, a oh. mathematical win. We have to let him win. Yeah, just this once. Oh, my Pythagoras. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to do a pun and I couldn't think of any. Oh, there we go. So, well done, Kevin. You won that. Patrice Kapowski victor against Thanks. these guys. I wonder how he did it. What? I won. won. Oh, oh, yes, fantastic! Oh, yes, fantastic! Oh, yes, Oh, God, i tell you what, if you were to take that joke and multiply it by another joke, you'd get it! Thinking about it as well, there haven't been many times that I've won. Oh, I feel, I feel like I'm equaling out. I'm so tired, though. I feel like I just feel like a fraction of a man I did an hour ago. I'm so hungry, I wish I could find some pie. Oh, oh, oh. Well, this has been fun. The Alex Baker Show Podcast. So there we go. Alex. Po I so there we go. Alex Baker Show Podcast, Volume 2, in the bag. One hour, 32 minutes we're on. Uh, maybe it is too long. Maybe Alex the Panda's comment at the start. That is a long time. That's an hour and a half. But he only said that because his internet's slow, and he sent me another message after saying, oh, it's all right, I've got it now. 
and it's amazing. Yeah, but an hour and a half. Who's li- who really is going to invest an hour and a half? <laughs> who's listening to this now? But no one. Out of the thousands of people that subscribe, I bet no one's listening to this bit. I don't know, though, because there's people that... You'd give it 10 minutes, right? There's or people minutes. that miss the show because of when it's on, and they hate to miss a single moment, so we'd like to give them all those moments. Yeah, maybe we should be more selective, though. I don't know, let's ask, let's ask the, the people that download it. Yeah. You guys that are listening now, uh, feedback, please, uh, at Alex Bakerman or at Kevin Hingley uh, on Twitter genuinely need your feedback on this because we're new to podcasting. I want to make sure we're giving you the product that you want, right? <laughs> is it too long? Is it stupid? And But if you want us to cut it down, what do you want us to take out? Do you want us to just do the features or do you want us to take out the features and just have the other bits? Or Do you know what I mean? Is the packaging appealing to you? Yeah. <laughs> if you've got any uh, problems, email our help desk. <laughs> no, we haven't got a help desk. Uh, but seriously, at Alex Bakerman, at Kevin Hingley, because I generally don't know whether it's too long because an hour and a half, you know, that's a long time. You know, I suppose you could listen to it on your commute, but yep. not many people have got an hour and a half commute. <laughs> Download the podcast! And also, they've got a whole week to get through it, so they could listen in little chunks, you know. That's ten, true. Ten minutes here and there. That's true, yeah. That is true. Subscribe to the podcast! You always have something cool to listen to on your iPad, iPhone, iP- or device, yeah. MP3 player, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Can you use MP3 players with iTunes? Absolutely. Can you? Yeah. It's not just iPods. No, because it just downloads an MP3 file, just drag it onto whatever device you want. I don't really know. Go into the folders. I feel really old recently. I feel like I've got out of touch with technology. Oh, I don't even no. know how to use a torrent thing. Not that I would. Not that I would. No, I'm just not. Um, but anyway, so at Alex Bakerman, at Kevin Hingley, feedback please on the podcast. Also, what's our question for the day? Week. What? <laughs> question for the week. I thought we did this feature when we asked them. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, we asked them to ask us questions. Yeah. That's it. God. <laughs> All over the place tonight. I mean, we could ask them a question to see if they've been paying attention, <laughs> maybe. Let's do that. Here's the question. What do you think of the podcast? No, <laughs> <laughs> there's that question, and there's another question. The question is... Ooh. What was the name of my awesome thing? No, not a question about the podcast. Like something something fun. Oh. You know, like Equals 3, that wicked thing on YouTube? Do you ever watch that? No. Ray William Johnson. He's a hero. I love that dude. Hello, Ray William Johnson, if you're listening. Equals 3 is awesome. I like your style. He does this thing where he asks for the comment question of the day. So he encourages people to ask us questions. Oh, that's what we've done. We did that already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know, Kevin! I don't know! Yeah, let's just go. Ask us questions on Twitter. Lates.